Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're gonna to talk about, is it cheaper to buy or build a drone? I have been through all of the components and compared that with the best drones that you can buy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna find out if it's cheaper and the answer may surprise you. This video is based on an article on DroneFlyingPro.com, so go check out that article. I'll leave a link in the description. Also, just go into your uh, search bar and type in Drone Flying Pro, and then cheaper to build or buy a drone, and you get taken to that article. So, um, with no further ado, let's go on and have a look. So there are a load of reasons for why you might consider building a drone. And look, it's not up to me to tell you what you should do and what you shouldn't do, but cost comes down to it in the end. You know, I like to think that if I'm building something or learning a new skill, that even if it costs me more money, I am investing in the skills that it will give me. So, you know, building a drone, you can get drones with no soldering, but soldering may be a thing that you have to do. You have to understand the electronics, you have to understand about building micro um, electronics and cramming it all onto an airframe. You know, all of that requires you to troubleshoot and Google. And ultimately, you know, you, that may be the thing that you wanna get from this. Whereas if you're building a drone to save money, Think again. So some of the best drones at the moment are made by DJI and Parrot um, and Unique and other sort of drone manufacturers. Go check out my other video where I talk about the best drone manufacturers in the world. But here's the thing, is that a lot of technology goes into building a drone. Like you've got engineers, you've got designers, you've got, um, uh, people who deal with the microelectronics, the engineers, the designers even, um, all of those things come together to, to make a pretty impressive bit of kit. Now you can buy um, pre-made drone building kits. Now these are fantastic. So these cost about $200. Go check out the article where I've got loads of links for that. I'll also link it in the description below. But um, yeah, you can buy them, you know, like from uh, Hobbycraft and other places. The great thing about these kits are that they are a fixed price, so $200 or thereabouts, and you can actually be guaranteed that each component will work with the other thing because that's the biggest issue when you're building your own drone is first of all, there's a huge number of components. And secondly, each component, there's a huge variety of that component and how they all interlink or if they're compatible or not comes down to, to be honest with you, a little bit of Googling and then just biting the bullet, buying it and sticking it together to be like, okay, will this work? Um, so yeah, go check out the drone building kits if you're new to this, but you still want to gain the skills that you can um, sort of use later to build more drones. Um, yeah, it's an easy way and a cheaper way and a way that you can have confidence that everything will come together and that at the end, ultimately, the reason we're doing this is to fly a drone. So buy a drone building kit if you're not sure what you're doing. That should be your first thing. So how much does it cost to build a drone? Now on my DroneFlyingPro.com article, I look at a range of different sort of components and I really just choose the lower end price because I wanted to see what's the cheapest you could make it for and see if I could compete with the kits. Now remember the kits are about $200 um, and they don't include a camera, which is probably about another $200 or so to add another camera or a GoPro gimbal or something like that. Now. Um, here are all the things that you need to build a drone. A frame, power distribution, flight controller, video transmitter, video antenna, motors, electronic speed controller, propellers, battery, a camera, which is kind of optional, but if you want that first person view, then it's gotta have a camera. Um, uh, batteries, uh, an RC receiver, so a, a receiver so you can control the drone, as well as chargers to charge the batteries. Now, I did a very rough kind of like uh, Google and search, and I found all of those components, I could make it for about 700 US dollars. So that's not too bad, considering that a lot of the high-end drones go from 1,000 to about $2,000, you know, at the moment in terms of the commercial drone world with cameras. Uh, but here's the thing, if you're building it, 
you're probably gonna replace some of these parts later on because they're gonna wear out, you're gonna not do it properly, you're gonna have to buy other more compatible drone kits. Um, and, you know, it could lead you to spend way more money than the $700. And of course, this doesn't take into account the amount of time that it can take. Now I did a little bit of searching online and this is the kind of range of times that people thought they could make a drone in. Now people that were boasting said that they could make a drone in about an hour. Now, if you've got all of the components and you know how it goes together and it's a no solder and there's no issues with uh, any of the kind of connections and you don't have to troubleshoot, I can see that as being reasonable. But in reality, if you're new to this and you're building a drone to keep it to keep the price down, you do have to take into account, you know, how much are you willing to pay someone to kind of just deal with all of those making issues for you. So um, on the other end of the spectrum, people have been saying that it can take beginners anywhere from about uh, 10 hours to just many days of just troubleshooting and fixing. And then of course, once you've got the actual physical components together, then you have to go into your software and you have to calibrate all sorts of things. Um, the software is getting better and better so it becomes easier and easier, but it's still a learning curve. So if you're thinking about building a drone just because you think it'll be cheaper, it may actually work out more expensive in the long run. Now, the reason for that is that these components you will wanna replace. Um, these components may not be compatible with each other. You will have to spend time calibrating and then you may not actually end up with the drone that you would have got for the same amount of price, uh, same amount of money that you built. Do you know what I mean? Like you, that you probably can't build something as good as a DJI drone. So you might as well buy a DJI drone. They're very inexpensive these days. And I, I got a second hand uh, Mavic Air, which in my other videos I tell you I absolutely love. I think this is probably one of the best drones DJI ever made because look at the size of it. It packs down into nothing, at uh, super lightweight. You know, the camera is not the best, but it was good enough to do what I wanted to do. And so all of these things really make it, you know, this was $800 and it's about 700 US dollars to build a drone, I couldn't build something like this with the stability, with all of the software, the advanced software that's in there, all of the kind of sensors and uh, flight smarts and the intelligence that this comes with, I just couldn't do from a drone that I built myself. So you really have to think about this and you really have to consider whether or not building a drone is for you or whether or not you just wanna get straight to the flying and buy yourself a drone. Buy a second hand. Go check out my other video where I talk about buying a second hand drone. I've even got on my uh, website droneflyingpro.com, I've even got a checklist so you can go through and check all of the things that you should double check when buying a second hand drone. It's really valuable, go check it out. So there we have it, it is cheaper to buy a drone in the long run or buy a drone buying kit and you can sort of start building a camera drone for about the 700 US dollars mark once you have all of the components together. Um, yeah, you know, it's a tricky question. It comes down to you. If you're the sort of person that wants to build and learn about building, then that is bloody brilliant and you should do it. Uh, but if you're someone that's more focused on the actual flying and you're thinking about building to keep the price down, that probably won't happen. Um, just bite the bullet if you can afford it. Buy a Mavic Mini. Um, they're fantastic small drones. You don't need to register them in the US because they're under the 250 gram limit. And go out and experience what flying a drone is all about. So there we have it. There's the answer to that. Um, consider your situation and what it works well for you and what won't work. And I'm sure that you'll be very happy with what you choose. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification. I'm gonna talk about drones, share drones, news, tips, latest drones, and I'm gonna get some drones to fly around and compare and contrast. I've got some awesome videos planned. So if this video is useful, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you in the next video.